Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. My name is Daniel Askwit and today I'm going to show you how connection references work. Microsoft just published a blog post on the Power Apps and the Power Automate websites and they announced the preview of connection references. And connection references are really nice to have because I think a couple of you might already know that when you have a flow and power apps inside of a solution and you um, export it from one environment and you import it in another one, it's a bit of a hassle when you uh, want to change the connections around. So you always have to go to your uh, to your flow, you need to change all the connections there, you need to go to your power apps, delete the connections there and import those again. Um, those kind of tasks are really repetitive and not really nice to do when you want to quickly deploy something. And that's why Microsoft started connection references. In this video, I'm going to do a really brief, quick overview. So I'm going to show you how you can create a connection reference, how, can you, how you can add a flow to that. Um, you can export a solution. And then afterwards, um, we're going to a different environment and import the solution in there. And I'll show you the experience you are going to have with connection references. So without further ado, let's just uh, go to my desktop and show you how it's been done. Here we are in my desktop and I am in the connection references one environment I just created. I have a couple of solutions in here, uh, but first I'm going to show you that I don't have any connections in here. That's really important because I wanted to show you uh, from scratch. And let's see the other um, environment that I have here. That's a connection references to environment. I also have the same solutions in there, uh, just the basic solutions I'm getting when I create a new environment. I can go to connections and I can see that I don't have any connections here as well. So let's move back to solutions and go back to the other environment. I'm going to create a new solution. I'm going to use a display name connection references. And in here, I'm going to use a publisher and I'm going to use Sune, who is going to join me in the future video. Uh, where we're going to do a deep dive on the connection references. Uh, let's create this solution. And now we can see that we have a connection references solution without any components in here. When I select new, I can select uh, the connection references preview option in here. When I do that, I get a new sidebar where I can type a display name. I'm going to use Teams because we're going to use the Teams connector here. I can even put a description in here, but for now I'm not going to use that. I'm going to select Microsoft Teams here from the, um, uh, the search box here. I can also use the drop down here to select it from the drop down, of course. Um, for now, we're going to select a connection. Um, we don't have any connections in here yet. I showed you that before. So let's create a new connection from here. You can see that it opens a new tab and you can select create to create a new Teams connection and you can select your account in here. When you've done that, it will automatically create the connection. It will um, add it to your environment. It will show that it added it to your connection references one environment. You can see that I have my username in here. And when I close this one down, I can hit refresh on the right side of the connection part. And when I do that, I can open the drop down again and select the username I have here. So when I do that, I can create a new connection reference and it will add it to the solutions. Although you can see it now, um, it has the uh, view on all, but um, it doesn't show the connection references yet. So if you want to see your connection references in the solution, you have to scroll down and go to the connection reference preview view. And then when you select that, you can see that the connection is in here. So let's switch back to all and create a new flow in here. And in this flow, we are going to use the connection reference teams, of course. So 
let's select the manually trigger flow action and add a new step. We're gonna use Microsoft Teams. I'm gonna um, list all teams in here. So list teams and I'm gonna fill in a um, title for the flow. So let's do manual uh, list teams and save this flow. It will take a little bit of time until it's saved. So let's wait for that. Okay, I can now close down this tab and I already saved it, so that's good. Let's select done here and you can see that my flow will appear here. Um, and as already mentioned, you are not seeing the connection reference here, but it's still there. You have to only switch to a different view if you want to see that one. So for now, that's a little bit um, strange, but um, for now we'll have to do with that. Okay, let's publish all customizations. So we have to wait for that little while. And after that, we will export the solution to, um, to my computer. So we already published, uh, let's select next. We can export this as a managed solution. Um, it says version number 1.0.0.1. Okay, that's fine for now. So let's select export and it will download the, um, the solution. Okay, so we can see that uh, connection references 1.0.0.1 managed.zip is already in my downloads folder in my computer. So let's go to the other tab here and see connection references too. Again, we don't have any connections in here. Let's go to solutions and select import. We can browse for a file in here, select the connection references uh, solution. I just um, exported from the other environment and select open. I can select next here. And now you see an overview of all the details in here. You can see that I'm importing connection references, that it's of type managed, that the publisher is Sune Weisnav, and that it's version 1.0.0.1, and it's not a patch. So when I select next here, I can already um, update this solution uh, from this window. So in here, I can select a connection, and because we don't have any connections in this environment yet, I have to create a new one. When I do this, it's just the same experience as the other one we just did. So I have to click create. I have to select my account in here. So let's wait for a little while, select the account. It will add the uh, connection to my environment and I can close down this tab. I already get prompted to refresh um, the connections in here. So let's click refresh and you can see that it's refreshing in here. And now it automatically grabs the right connection in here. I can select import in here and now it's gonna import the solution. So you can or already see the uh, currently importing solution connection references message in here. It will take a little while before the connection references solution is imported, but here you can already see that it was imported successfully. And when I select the connection references solution, you can already see that the status in the flow is already on on. And before that used to be off because the uh, connection weren't updated. And when I open this flow, I can actually see that the whole thing here, let's wait a little while and edit this. You can already see that the connection reference is already in here. So it's working perfectly and um, I de don't have to change anything in the flow. It automatically updated the connection references and that's what we all want, right? So this was my short introduction video about connection references. I hope you liked it. Um, I think this is a really, really good feature and I can't wait to use this even more. So um, please like and subscribe uh, to the channel if you want. Um, and I hope to see you at the next video. Bye bye.